Hey everyone, welcome back to Data Within Reach, your go-to channel for machine learning and AI. In today's episode of our Rapid R three-minute tutorial series, we're going to go over vectors in R, how to create and manipulate them, and why they're really useful. So let's get started. We've only got three minutes after all. First, let's learn how to create vectors in R. Vectors are like a one-dimensional array that always contain the same data type. You can create a vector by using the C function, like this here. With this little bit of code, you can see how the C function creates vectors, and then here below, we're printing out the vectors to see the result. So this code creates three different types of vectors, a numerical vector, a character vector, and a logical vector. Next, let's learn how to manipulate vectors in R. You can perform various operations on vectors, such as element-wise arithmetic, accessing elements by index, and combining vectors. This code shows you how to perform arithmetic, access elements by index, and combine vectors in R. The sum vectors variable adds up the two vectors shown here. R is not base zero. So when you think about like how arrays work, usually zero is the first element. But in R, the first vector element is one. I hope that doesn't freak anybody out. And last, the combined vector variable shows how to combine two vectors into one longer vector. Here's a question. What would happen if they were different types? Finally, let's discuss why vectors are so useful in R. Vectors provide a simple and efficient way to store and manipulate data. This makes them ideal for various tasks in data science and machine learning. One of the real advantages that you'll learn as you get farther along in R is to use vectorized operations. So you can perform operations on R vectors without having to loop through an index of each element. This makes your code more efficient to write and a little bit easier to read. So here's an example of how vectors are very efficient in R. So in this first example, we're trying to get the mean of a series of numbers that are contained in a vector. Instead of having to index through the vector and pull each number out individually and add it up and then divide it by the number in the index, what we do is we just pass it into a function called mean and uh, it calculates it all and, and does all that for us. So it's very efficient. Here's a little bit of a more complicated example where we can filter out uh, characters from a vector that contains strings. And that's it. In less than three minutes, you've got a nice handy little reference to learn how to create and manipulate vectors in R. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions or comments or want to suggest a different video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.